Today, we're going to talk about zip former versus paraformer. And could you explain what it means to be a zip former model? Okay, I mean, a zip, so anything with former at the end, they're, they're all kind of variants of the transformer model. Uh, it started with the conformer, which was the transformer model with the convolutional module added to each layer. Uh, so the, the zip former is, it comes from us. It's basically, uh, I mean, we. it's a highly modified conformer in which the layers run at different speeds. So uh, there's like upsampling and downsampling. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of more efficient and, and, and somewhat better than a conformer. Yeah. And what was the difference between conformer and transformer? Well, conformer is a transformer with, with some extra kind of convolutional modules and a few other changes. Okay, could you explain what a paraformer model is? Mm. Uh, a paraformer model is is a uh, some it's some kind of transformer based model from another company, I think Tencent. Uh, that I think they trained this model for Chinese, and it, if memory serves, it includes something they call the glancing language model, in which I I think the gist of it is that they. Uh, uh, they, they first do some kind of rough estimate of what the word sequence is, including its length. And then they they feed in all the confident positions to some kind of second level of model, uh, some kind of auxiliary input, and it outputs uh, the final sequence. M my impression from the model was that it was the kind of thing that would probably only work on Chinese, because in Chinese, it's relatively easy to see how many symbols there are because it has a very clear syllabic structure, unlike English. Yeah, so that that model, I, if memory serves, I think it's not trained by us. I think we're just doing the inference for someone else's trained model. Okay, could you explain what the transformer model was? Well, the, the, the transformer model is... Uh, it it's a mod it's a model where it has multiple layers and in each layer there's like a self attention module actually there's this feed forward module then a self attention module then another feed forward and each of those three modules kind of has a resnet like structure where there's a bypass uh, that's basically it. it's a, it's a very effective model okay thank you so, bye.